I'm delighted to be part of this high-level session where we are discussing women, economic empowerment, and green growth. This subject is close to my heart as it is not only holds the key to a sustainable future for Africa, but also possesses the power to positively transform the lives of millions. The continent of Africa is at a pivotal point where the actions we take in this decade will profoundly shape the future of life on earth. Women and youth hold the potential to be major drivers of the transformative future we collectively envision. Africa's rich natural resources and diverse ecosystems offer both unique challenges and extraordinary opportunities for sustainable development. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, green growth is a holistic approach that acknowledges our responsibility to pursue economic prosperity while preserving our environment and ensuring that its benefits are shared equitably with a specific emphasis on women. Implementing green growth initiatives will build and grow the green economy. The continent of Africa has the most unused arable land in the world, requiring sustainable agriculture practices that enhance food security and reduce environmental harm. Rural women in Africa often shoulder the responsibility of securing energy, mainly wood fuel for their households. Expanding access to clean and affordable energy, such as solar power and clean cooking stoves, not only enhances their lives, but also frees their time to engage in incoming generating activities. The pivotal question is, what role do women play in the development of, of green growth? because herein lies the important aspect of women's economic empowerment. My dear sisters, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to give an example of how women can become economically empowered by contributing to green growth. On 21st December 2019, the President of Kenya launched the National Tree Restoration Campaign through which the government committed to grow 15 billion trees by 2032. My office has committed to contribute to the campaign by growing 500 million trees by 2032. In fact, we have actually progressed and we have uh, adapted a for Kakamega Forest, part of Kakamega Forest in Shikusa, where we have already planted 30,000 uh, trees. This campaign presents a huge opportunity for all to participate. We are urging women, and especially those in groups, to get involved and become part of the value chain. Some of the opportunities that exist as a result of the campaign are the establishment of tree and fruit nurseries so as to supply seeds and seedlings, nurturing the planted trees to ensure a great rate of survival. This will also prevent damage to the trees and curb illegal logging and deforestation. Women can also benefit from nature-based enterprises like beekeeping, black soldier fly farming, among others, to improve their lives and become economically empowered. My dear sisters, ladies and gentlemen, women entrepreneurs in Africa have already demonstrated their capacity to propel green growth. They are open to innovative solutions from renewable energy startups to sustainable agriculture ventures. Encouraging women's participation in green businesses and providing support can unlock remarkable economic potential. Women are pivotal in Africa's agriculture, promoting sustainable farming practices, providing access to modern techniques, and supporting women farmers can boost food security, reduce land degradation, and increase families' incomes. Access to credit and financial opportunities often hinders women's participation in green growth sectors. Creating opportunities for women to access loans, grants, and investment capital can bridge this gap. Green growth 
and women's economic empowerment in Africa are not isolated objectives, but intertwined imperatives for sustainable development. By harnessing the talents, skills, and potential of women across the continent, we can propel green economic growth, protect our environment, and ensure a brighter future for all. Urgent action is required by all actors, governments, businesses, civil society, and individuals. Let us unite in our efforts to create a continent where green growth and women's economic empowerment are not mere buzzwords, but the very foundation of a prosperous and sustainable future for everyone. This vision is within our reach, and together we can transform it into reality. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Restoring Africa's landscapes and empowering communities, especially women, goes beyond being a moral duty. It's a strategic approach to addressing environmental challenges, enhancing livelihoods, and advancing sustainable development across the continent. Acknowledging the pivotal role of women as leaders and key stakeholders in these endeavors is fundamental to achieving enduring and positive change. I am honored to be part of a restoration platform that champions women leadership and accelerates our efforts towards establishing a robust green economy both here in Kenya and across Africa. I anticipate that the African Climate Summit will pave the way toward COP28 and beyond, fostering greater inclusion of women in restoration initiatives across the continent and providing targeted support to women's organizations and local women groups, ensuring that no one is left behind.